lesson you learned during that first year as a kicker here? Um, honestly, I didn't feel like any moment was too big for me at all. Uh, I felt just I felt really comfortable, uh, no matter the game or situation. I think just honestly, just getting that experience, getting to kick in front of uh, a few more faces and in bigger stadiums. I think that's uh, that was probably the biggest adjustment. But I mean, it's yeah. Again, there's no moment too big for me, and I I loved every minute of it. Uh, really well. I think I think I've done really well. I've been strong. Uh, I think I've worked really hard in the off season. I think one of my mentors. I mean that I knew uh, before I came here uh, with relationship with Chris Brown. I think that's really helped me. Uh, you know, I've worked with him a lot in the off season. You know, whether it's back in Omaha for spring break or whatever. But you know, we're looking at film. But he's he's been a huge mentor to me. And you know, seeing what Coach Foley sees and you know the rest of the specialists. You know, getting their opinions and. Seeing what they see on film when we break it down has been been huge for me this winter for sure. How much work have you put into um, the part of your game where everything's the same on every kick, um, from your steps to your placement? You know all the all the stuff that you have to focus on as a kicker when you're a freshman. Uh, was it you know, how 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 perfect was that craft for you and compared to where you want it to be? Sure. I think there was definitely some inconsistency in my freshman year, you know, with my with my steps and kind of the whole the whole process. I feel really kind of polished and uh, consistent now. Uh, that's something we really hammer in the offseason, you know, same process every kick, no matter the situation, you know, obviously like something like aiming points, uh, you know, depending on where I am on the field and with the wind, you know, that'll change from kick to kick, but the same process that uh, that doesn't change. And that's the same thing, no matter the kick. How has your relationship with uh, Coach Foley evolved since you got here? It's been great. I mean, I, he's uh, I, with him coming from the NFL. You know, he's worked with some of the best guys uh, in the world at the at, at my job, and uh, you know, so he's he's really gotten to kind of learn over the years. I mean, he'll be the first to tell you. You know, he he played center. You know, he wasn't he he didn't kick the ball, but he's really learned a lot over the years, and uh, that's something that he kind of talks about and he's proud of himself you know he's, he's able to talk to us about kind of what we do because it's I mean we have a unique job so but him being able to talk to us really uh really is good I know you kicked in Memorial Stadium the one time before you kicked the whole season there but did the win in the Big Ten and in Memorial Stadium was that a unique experience for you to kind of work through some of the difficulties of kicking the ball and, and that weather and in that way yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think, I mean, kicking in the Big Ten is hard. It's the hardest conference to kick in, I'd say. You know, I mean, in the SEC, you're, you know, those guys can complain down there when it's 50 degrees out, and it's yeah. just like, well, it's November here, and it's it's 20, and there's 30 mile an hour gusts, you know, in my face or uh, crosswind. So there's it's nothing like kicking in the Big Ten, and I think Memorial Stadium is hard to kick in for sure. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'm I'm from here, I got to deal with it, and you know, I gotta my job is to go out there and put the ball through the pipes, and that's what I'm gonna do. Was there another stadium that was, you know? Took you, it was challenging. Uh, I'd say last year, probably Illinois. I mean, they call it the Windy City for a reason. I mean, it's near Chicago, obviously. It's it's not, yeah, it's Champaign, but uh, that was that was a tough one for sure. I mean, that it, it's different every night, you know. It just depends what kind of elements you're going to get there. They're unpredictable in the Big Ten. You mentioned that relationship with Chris Brown. I can't remember. When did that start to take off, and, and what's it like? You know, there's obviously guys who have come through this program who have had great success kicking to have that network of guys. Yeah, uh, well, my relationship with Chris really started when I was in high school. I mean, his his son was my holder, uh, my junior year, and uh, I mean, I've worked with, I've been family friends with them for a long time, and it's, I mean, that's a great resource to have. And along with the other kickers who have kicked here, I mean, I'm really, I'm really lucky to be in the situation where I am. You know, getting to talk to Brent Maher, or Alex Henry, you know, Sam Cook. I mean, anyone who's kicked here. I mean, I'm in a really, really lucky position, and um, it's great to be able to have those resources on almost on speed dial. <laughs> Nebraska's had a lot of emphasis on competition, spring league, and things. How does that competition show up for kickers? How do you how do you stay? Uh, uh, competitive? Yeah, I mean we're not really we're not we're, the specialists aren't really on any of those teams. You know we're kind of on all three teams or none of the teams. And if you look at it that way, uh, but they use us like today. I know we went had the uh, we had like a two minute situation. It was so the ball was on the plus forty and we got a minute left and they got a score a touchdown to win or a field goal to force overtime. So, I mean, they, they definitely use us. And, you know, last week there was uh, – it was red zone. So, you know, we were we were involved in that too. If the if the offense, you know, they're in range. If they if they don't score a touchdown, you know, they're calling our number. So, I mean, they, they really use us. And uh, it's it's good that we're going to be a part of that because it stimulates a, a real-life game. So, it's it's great. What's the, long, what's the longest kick you've made so far in camp? 
I think we, let's see, I think, I think during the spring league, we went back to 58. Uh, I, made, I made 58, I think, last week. Do you know what you're, like, do you know what the outer edge of your range is? Like, when you guys are just screwing around, kicking it as far as you can? <laughs> I mean, whenever I'm on the field, I'd say that we got a good chance of being in range. But, I mean, get the ball to the, I don't know, <laughs> cross the 50 and we'll start thinking about it. Coach Foley was talking about how you, you'd come to the stadium with your grandpa ever since you were young and all that. I mean, so you, you've known the pressure of, of that position at Nebraska, and you said no kick's too big for you. How did you not let the pressure become too much for you when so many eyes are on you and your history here? Um, honestly, I, I've had a really kind of good background when it comes to, like, my mental training. Uh, that really that really plays a huge part in kind of um, – just my process, you know, I mean, I have a lonely job, you know, look at pitchers, look at a golfer, you know, we're kind of the solo man on an island sometimes, you know, so I think uh, just kind of trusting your mental approach and, you know, trying to find that consistency, you know, the same kick mentality and just uh, same process every kick, that's that's huge. Are you and, are you and, and Brian Machini good for each other in that way? Yeah. In, in that and is there some comfort there that can actually impact your performance when the two of you are are, are both doing this for the, the second year together? Yeah, no, definitely. I think that, uh, you know, Brian's great. I think, you know, I mean, we have a really good snapper cam. You know, he's he's been re he's been really good for us so far this spring. And I think, you know, I mean, every kick before, you know, we go out there, me and Brian are always talking about, uh, you know, aim aiming points and, you know, figuring out a target to aim at. And that, that's huge. So it's that's something we do, you know, trying to really hammer down the, the same process before every kick. You know, that's just building consistency and it's only going to make us better. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you.